buddy. What's up? I know. I know. Let me work on a project. I'll come get you. Hey guys, don't worry. He will get out. But I got a project, which is what this video is about. I got to do that first. I don't want him... I don't know, get scared, be in the way. I mean, I gotta cut some stuff, saw some stuff, drill some stuff. He's good. He's headed to the farm really, really quick. I know when I say that in videos and it's like, I post another video and he's not out there yet, and another video and he's not out there yet. Remember, my videos are sometimes two to three days, even a week behind. So, anyway. All right, guys. Okay, we got a Bonos. Bonos. No, she don't know Spanish. Neither do I. All right. At the risk of being called a Premier One fanboy, I'm gonna do another Premier One review. I reached out to him. Said, hey, I wanna review something cool not very many people have. What do you got? And we wound up with this. I'm pretty stinking excited about it. I paid for this, so I get to say whatever I want. Then I am going to brag a little bit first. I owned Premiere One before I had a YouTube channel, before I had an Instagram, before 293 people presently watch these videos. So I am a fanboy. I don't care. Premiere makes some of the best stuff for homesteaders, farmers, farmsteaders. I don't care. Argue with anybody. It's good. Some of it is a little bit more expensive but it's quality and it lasts. I didn't want something with plastic. I wanted something that was gonna last, something that was gonna hold up. And if I ever have to leave the farm in the care of uh, my dad or something, if I go out of town, he didn't have to worry about this failing and neither do I while I'm gone. They also have free shipping over a hundred dollars. Usually when I order, I always order more than a hundred dollars or if I'm close, I find something else to round up. They're in Iowa, so nanner nanner, cause I get my stuff in like 48 hours. Yeah, if I order before, two or three in the afternoon central time, I get it like the morning of the following day, the next following day. I order it Wednesday before two, I get it Friday morning. Let's see what this is. This is their all new feeder. And this is the big boy. I think it holds 66 pounds. It'll feed four to five birds at a time. The reason I selected this, I was telling Joe about the type of birds I have. Got the 20 that are moving to the farm and they're only maybe 10, 12 weeks old. So it's a really good time to introduce them to this. So when they get out to the farm, they already know what it is. These are juvenile chicks, one to two, maybe a couple of them are three pounds, but eventually they'll be anywhere from five to nine. Well, what I like about this feeder is it's gonna be at the farm, which means it's gonna be exposed to a lot more wildlife, such as other birds uh, that, you know, netting won't protect against. And of course, mice. Mice can get anywhere. This feeder will protect against those kind of animals getting in here and just going to town on the food and you know, eating what is meant to be for my chickens and ultimately put food on my family's table. So you can actually adjust the weight of this pedal. So right now I can set it. So for, you know, one to three pounds, it's actually got three settings. Yeah, you get two pounds, 2.7 pounds and a 3.3 pounds. So it goes up about a pound. How'd you guys poop on the side of it already? It's got two holes back here for mounting and for the ease of uh, video production and ease of just being able to do it quicker. Uh, I already matched up my screws to the back of it where it's gonna hang and then I'll just screw this board to the fence. So yeah, now you can watch me do that. And keeping this thing level is important because it's self-feeding. But here's another thing I wanna show you. If you put it flush against the wall, it's not going to open. See how it's moving the whole entire feeder? So that's another reason why I'm using this furring strip. It's probably a 
probably half an inch thick. Uh, you can get them at any hardware store. It's called a furring strip, but you know, anything, anything that offsets the back of this from the wall. So also thanks to Hidden Pines Homestead, I've been able to upgrade my carpenter's pencil, a drywall screw to an actual carpenter's pencil. And it's like that DOT orange that you just can't miss. Thanks buddy. Doing the old, I built this fence so I know it's level. So if I just see how much space is from here to here, I know it's level. So, yeah. Chickens like their own reflection. Don't we all? <laughs> all right, so from the factory, it comes on the middle setting, which is 2.75 pounds. And like I said, my birds aren't quite three pounds yet. Um, not all of them anyway. There's a couple, I'll show you. They're a little bit bigger. But if there's two or three birds on this roost, they'll have no problem pushing that down. And we also want to train them to it, which I'll talk about in a second and show you what Premier recommends. But this is the inside of the other side of the feeder. Okay. Just to give you perspective where we're at here. We were just looking at the sticker. Now we're right here. Case is definitely going to get on me for scratching his knife. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. If I was a chicken, I'd use it. That was a 40 pound bag and it holds 60, which is about right. I guarantee another half of that bag would fit in there, no problem. Now, as you can see, they step on it and they got their food. See how handy those DeWalt tools are, I guess. <laughs> see, they thought of everything. No, I'm just kidding. You can see the difference in how big some of these birds are. Oh, and you see the uh, level feed indicator over there. Focus, over there. Yep, they saw it, so they can see it has food in it. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. That's for you and I. But Premier does recommend that you use a stone or a board or something like that to weigh down the lever for a little while so they can learn that when they stand on those roofs, they, uh, of course, get food. Now, Premier says, I do want to make it clear, I'm doing the opposite. Premier says, place the birds on the roofs, let them see the food. Mine are just extremely curious. They're very comfortable with me. So I'm just going to let them find it here in a second. So for total transparency, what I noticed was the food was actually not quite full. Uh, it was too low for them to reach in and eat. So even though they saw it, like you saw that blue splash Moran, she couldn't reach it. Now my full grown birds, my mature hens, they definitely could. But we're talking about birds that are 11, 12 weeks old. So I'm gonna go apologize to the first three hens that I put on here and uh, introduce them again, and I'm guessing it goes a whole lot better.